I just got this massive box of new arrivals delivered to my front porch today. We were gone all day today. We went to the mall, we did some shopping. I went to Louis Vuitton store and was looking at the new Kusama line to kind of get an idea of the new bags that are in. They're super cool, very unique. I think they're gonna be collectible pieces. So I'm excited to see how those trend in the secondhand market over the next several months and years. But I wanted to see those. Today they launched for the first time ever. And I came home to this huge box of new arrivals. So we're gonna open them together and let's see what we've got inside of here. If you don't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below in the YouTube video. Let me know which one of these is your favorite once I get them open. Live seller for a little, we're going on two years now. So let's see what we got in here. So much bubble wrap. My house is full of bubble wrap. Okay. <gasps> okay, so some of these are definitely online. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, some of these are online. Let me start with this. Is a, it is Christian Louboutin. We don't get a lot of Christian Louboutin bags in. Accessories, small leather goods, things like that are sold in Christian Louboutin style. But this is so cool, look at this bag. It has all these fun colors, and it is big enough to hold a full-size iPhone, and then it has a detachable crossbody strap. So, all right. <sighs> I don't know if this one, I don't think this one's online yet, but I remember we sold one just like this a couple days ago, and everybody was losing their minds because they missed out on it. So we will have another black emprunt Louis Vuitton bum bag hitting the website. So soon, here's how you wear it. It is super, like the number one trending bag that I sell right now by far. When I get bum bags in, they do not last long. And wait till you see, I just saw another bum bag in there. So wait a little bit longer until you see the other bum bag that I pull out of there. It's like nothing that I've ever, ever had before. Okay, next we have, okay, this is called the Vic Victory well, uh, bag. I want to say wallet because there's a Victorine wallet, but this is the Victory bag. Newer style, black leather accents, which is always a very pretty style, very classy. Has this little clasp opening on the front here. Slip pocket and two more sections. So you can drop one of these and make it long, like crossbody length. Like so. Or you can double them up and wear it as a shoulder bag. This is the whole trend. So I made a TikTok video a week or so ago about wearing crossbody bags that have the two chains, wearing one across your body and then one here as extra security. Okay, next we have the Clapton. That's the name. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Okay, so very similar to this bag that I have here. This is the Speroni and this is the Clapton. So very similar. Obviously these are both BB size bags. Um, they have different hardware, notch closings at the front, similar tops, and then they both have detachable straps on the back. Like, let's see what we got. Oh, this is a YSL bum bag. And it's got this like, crocodile, it's not really embossed. It's more like the leather was imprinted. It's really, really cool. And then it's black on black. YSL with black, pretty rare. It's, I don't see very many of the black with the black on there. And then here's how you would wear it. YSL bum bag. So just like the last black bum bag that I got. These, this one is extremely higher price point right now because they're in such high demand. Like this one is probably like around 3,600. I think this one is like, shoot, I don't wanna guess. 1,295 on my website maybe? I think that's around about the price. Okay, this one, oh wow, this is bigger than I thought it was. This one is sold, just sold the other day. Wow, that is so cool. It's a Raffia Prada, I guess at this point I would consider it like a, um, a beach bag or I mean you can of course wear it as a regular day bag but definitely big I like that it's really cute inside is linen comes with a dust bag 
That's a cool piece. That one's sold, so I'm gonna stick it over here. We have, ooh, I like this bag. Okay, these are new in stores, newer style. This is probably 2021 or newer, maybe even 2022. This is the Marel in black epi leather, and it's got like the, it's like sideways epi leather. Here's how it looks. Has the little baby frocket. And guess what? This comes out, so it's a purse that holds your purse, and then this can detach, so you can use this separately if you wanna wear it as a wallet or whatever, but, and then you can obviously use this separately, it's just a little pocket, but how fun is the design of this? It's like a purse for your purse. It's adorable. Silver tone hardware, zips open at the top to this microfiber on the inside with the slip pocket back here. And yeah, it is in excellent condition. You can adjust the strap, it's on the shortest length right now, so you'd wear it as a shoulder, but you can adjust it to make it longer to wear more as a crossbody bag like that. That might be one of my favorites so far that I've unboxed tonight. All right. Oh wait, no. This is not sold. Look at this. I didn't expect this. I didn't think that that's what was in here. This is the PM size on the go which I've never had an, a PM size on the go. I like the PM though because it has the crossbody strap and you can wear it crossbody and it's a cute little tote bag that you can wear crossbody. The on the go MMs and the GMs are way too big to wear crossbody, but the um, PMs are perfect. The inside on this one is black microfiber and it's really clean. This one comes with a box in the dust bag. It's a full set. I'm telling y'all, this is the Louis Vuitton New Wave Tote. I've not had the tote in before. I've only ever had the crossbody version of the New Wave. Look how cool this is. It's got this Louis Vuitton multicolor design here. A wavy leather throughout it. And it has a little keychain here. The hardware is an aged gold. So it's not like shiny gold, it's more of a Almost like a dullish gold. It's interesting. And then on the inside, oh by the way, you can adjust it and wear it crossbody like this. How cute. Okay, the inside is black microfiber. Inside is lots of compartments. You this bag is a bag that you cannot just walk into a Louis Vuitton store and expect them to have it in stock because it's just not something that they're gonna like have. They sell out immediately. So finding one is is pretty rare and hard to find, even secondhand. So I think this is the first time I've ever had the tote new wave. Okay, let's see. Next we have Isanodeon. The new style Massacar, Massacar, Odeon. Ma Massacar or Massacar? It just um, refers to the black accents on the monogram bags. So when it has the black accents, that's typically what it's called. It has a little frocket with black cotton on the inside, and then the top zipper opens to a large cotton interior as well. But this one is in really nice condition. A little tiny, tiny minor scuffs on the corners. Comes with the dust bag, so yeah, really really nice condition, great bag. And this is a newer style. This is like 2019 and newer. They did make an Odeon. It is a, discon the discontinued Odeon is a little bit different shape, it's a little more rounded. The newer Odeon is a little more squarish. Oh my gosh, this is a Chloe bag. So I have had quite a few Chloe bags recently. This is the Marcy. Um, it has this fun little function to where this piece goes in right here and then you twist it and that's how it locks in place. Or it could just go here, but that way it stays there and doesn't fall out. And then that just comes out. So it's just an interesting little detail on the Chloe bags. Um, it opens and it has the dust bag on the inside. Here's the interior. It's like raw suede, it smells so good. Love smelling raw leather and has a little pocket hanging there. Let's see. The chain is crossbody length, so here's what it would look like as a crossbody bag. 
How cute is that with a bat, an outfit like mine that has so much color to it, wearing something very neutral and like a, yeah, neutral tone and not too obnoxious, just a kind of a circular shape is a really good option to offset like a loud outfit. Old, but let me show it to you. It is the giant Gucci bum bag. How cute is this? You can of course wear it across your waist as well, but that's just how people are wearing it. I feel like I have a billion bum bags in this order. That, that one already sold though. This one is sold also. This is actually heading out to one of my VIP customers, Erica. So congratulations to Erica. This one is sold already. All right. Let's, okay. This is fun. This is a Neo Noe, newer style Louis Vuitton Neo Noe. Um, it's called the Crafty. That's the style name of this bag. Not style, because that's the Neo Noe, but the <laughs> design name is the Crafty Neo Noe. It even has the black and white um, monogram here on the sides and then the little details right here. It's such a cute bag. Just a, it's a unique collector's piece too, for sure. And I have some customers that are obsessed with Speedies. They collect Speedies. I have customers that are obsessed with Neo Noe's and they collect Neo Noe's. It's such a good iconic style bag and you can wear it crossbody. This is for a outfit that is a little bit more low key because this is the standout bag. I was just talking about a minute ago wearing a more neutral bag when you're wearing a crazy standout outfit, but this one would be the opposite, absolutely. Interior on it is a cream color microfiber. And then it has one zipper compartment on the inside. Let's see, what do I have left? Ooh, oh shoot, I freaking love this bag. I've been waiting for this one, so I'm obsessed. This might be one of my new faves. Dior little crossbody bag. The details on it are so cool. Can you see the CD logos on the charm or on the strap? Isn't that so cool? I love the details on that. It is shoulder length. I wouldn't consider it being long enough to be crossbody. You can double this up and wear it handbag length like this. The color is like just off white is what I would consider it. It does have a couple little marks and scuffs. Not so bad. There's the back. And then opens, comes with a dust bag. Opens to a microfiber interior, cream color microfiber interior. It's got some literature, some leather pockets, all sorts of goodies on there. And then it has the magnetic closure. So this one is on the website now too. Your bags are really, really increasing in price. Like you, you look one day and it's one price and the next day you look and it's a whole nother price. It's crazy. Okay, I think it's time for the very last bag that I've been teasing y'all about because it's such a cool, unique piece. It is a Louis Vuitton bum bag, but it is a limited edition Louis Vuitton bum bag. So the bum bags were discontinued. April 1st last year is a year since the bum bag has been discontinued. Everybody thought it was an April Fool's joke because it was the number one best-selling bag by Louis Vuitton, but it was not an April Fool's joke and it still has been one of my best-selling bags, the most requested and sought after bags for the entire year. This is a limited edition version. So let's talk about this one and show it, showcase it a little bit. This is red and pink, giant logo on the front. You have a light pink monogram on the top and then the black and white monogram throughout it as well. Pink and white on the bottom. White leather strap. Here's the, so I would adjust the strap to make it not as long, but people would wear it across their chest like this. You can of course wear it, you can just kind of carry it like this if you like. You can also wear it across your waist. It's very adjustable. And then the inside is pink cotton interior, quite large. You can fit, fit so much stuff inside of here. Um, and that's a, one of the reasons people love it so much. It is so easy to wear. You can be hands-free, just an amazing piece. And, and the fact that it was discontinued made people really, really mad but they're gonna continue to go up in price. So make sure if you see one available and especially one that's in limited edition like this one, 
it would be a good investment piece to get. I recommend it. All right, that's all we've got for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed us unboxing all of these amazing bags. You can find them all available on our website, redoluxury.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think of this bum bag. A very rare, limited edition Louis Vuitton bum bag that was discontinued. I'm curious what your thoughts are on it. Do you like the color combination? Do you love the bum bag in general? Do you think it will be trendy for a long time or not so much? Let me know what you think in the comments.